In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to do our first project, which is a photo montage. Now, I probably will have given you a quick demonstration on how to do it, but I'd like you to watch all of these movies as well, and they'll give you a little bit more in-depth information. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our computer ready for this particular project, and this is going to be the standard thing that we do for all of our different projects. I've clicked on the Start button, and you should have all of these things here and ready to go. So File Explorer, and we're going to go to the D drive, and then my name again. I've got a bunch more folders than you'll have. And then we've been working out of this one here, Your Name Video Production 9, Spring 2018. Um, whichever one you've created in a previous tutorial, that's the one that you're going to go to. Inside of this, you should see um, at least one of these things, which is the project template. Now, we have done other project sample one. That was a, a previous tutorial that I've had you to all do. And then as well as the download folder, which is what uh, those videos we needed for that. So I'm going to click on just one click on the project template. And then I'm going to go Control C on the keyboard, and then Control V, and that has made a copy of it. Control uh, C copies, Control V pastes. Then F2 on the keyboard, and I'm going to call this Project One. And then I'm going to put a dash. I'm going to go Photo Montage. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We set up our D drive and we put in our photo montage. So go ahead and stop the video at this point and go ahead and do that please. Okay, so you should now have a project folder called Photo Montage Project 1. And inside of that, you have your assets. Inside of that, we have our three different folders. These are our standard things that we're going to be using all the way through. And I've just used this up arrow button here to go back up to this. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to add some things. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to choose 15 images from the internet. And these 15 images can be of anything that is appropriate for the school. Now I'm going to go ahead and start up uh, Google Chrome here. Uh, you may have to go down to the Start button and choose Google Chrome. You can use Edge as well. And I'm going to do a search for cars. This is my go-to image for this one. And then I'm going to click on the top here and we're going to go Images. And we have all of these different pictures. Now hopefully by the time you see this video, all of these things will be working for us. But uh, we should be able to click on something. So let's choose this particular car here. Now actually, let's go with cars. We're going to choose this guy here. So we need to save this from this uh, location and we're going to save it into our Asset folder under Picks. So I'm going to right click on it and say save image as. Hopefully this will work. It should work for us. Then we're going to have to find that data D drive. Now I'm going to go down to data D, Carnelli, uh, video production 9, and we are in project 1, photo montage, and then assets, and then pics. That's what this is, is pictures. Now you can just leave the default name here, and that's fine. We're going to go ahead and save. Let's choose another picture, and I'll show you how quickly. We're just going to grab this picture here. I'm going to right click on this one and we're going to save image as. Do you notice it automatically goes into that same folder that we had before? Just go ahead and save. So you can choose anything. If you're interested in hockey, you can choose 15 pictures of hockey. If you're interested in video games, you can choose 15 different video games. If you're interested in food, like me, you can choose your 15 top favorite food items. Uh, these are things that are unique to you that you want to show me. And this is going to show me a little bit about who you are and what sort of things that you're interested in. So go ahead and save the 15 images that you need for this into that asset folder called Pics in Project One Photo Montage. Once you've done that, you can go on to your next part of the project.